A Melbourne council is being accused of concocting a fantastic story to cover their backsides over a bungled attempt to rip off ratepayers. Residents of Maloney Street in Ormond arrived home yesterday to find cars parked out on the street had been slapped with $96 parking fines. Now, the residents were shocked because there'd never been any parking restrictions in their street and no one had been advised of any changes. So outraged residents contacted the uh, Glen Ira City Council yesterday and today received an email where the council told them that someone had tampered with the parking signs and people <laughs> had inadvertently received parking fines. Now, the council withdrew the fines and quickly got rid of the signs, but local residents smelt a rat. Unknown fraudsters, that's what the council called mm. them, fraudsters, mm. went and erected parking signs because that's what fraudsters do. And at the same time, parking inspectors just happened to turn up at this sort of off-the-way street where parking mm. restrictions had never been enforced to start issuing tickets. So there's a couple of possibilities here, Liz and Caleb. Number one, the story is fantastic and true. Fraudsters <laughs> going around playing pranks. Or the council just forgot to advise there'd been a change of policy. Or the council were looking for some quick money and decided to uh, issue fines without ever advising residents there'd been a change in policy. What do you reckon? Oh, I, think, I think it's, it's definitely number three. Because the amount of times people get parking fines right and you know that you can contest it, the amount of effort that goes into that and you know you are going to get an automated email back basically saying, stuff you, pay up. It doesn't matter if you pulled over to have a baby on the side of the road. That, you're just going to get that automated reply and we all know it. But congrats on the residents for just mm. saying, this is obvious BS. Firstly, like you say, why did the parking inspector even come down this street that they know is is doesn't have any of these restrictions in place? They were lost. Maybe. They were just wandered down there, decided to do a bit extra for no reason. And the the council saying it was fraudulently modified by unknown parties. Mm. Even if you were a prankster, so as they refer to this person. What have you got to gain by doing this? Because <laughs> you're not going to get any of the money. You're just going to be causing people a whole lot of grief thinking that they've gotten a parking fine when they haven't. So the council has really... I mean, the, the lie's almost worse than the crime at this the, point. The, 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 the cover-up's worse than the crime. The only prankster who would do something like that is someone who really had it in for someone who lives on that street. But imagine thinking, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and procure a two-hour parking sign and knock it onto a post on that street just so that they can cop a fine. Absolute crap. Clearly what happened was the council put the sign up didn't advise the residents that they had changed the parking rules. They all then got fined and went, oh, actually, we have done the wrong thing here. And instead of simply saying, very sorry, we should have alerted you before we changed the rules, oh, no, the sign wasn't meant to be there. We're going to take the sign down. We're going to get rid of your fines. I do not believe for one minute that parking inspectors don't have a list of streets to go and visit, right? Yeah. You can't tell me that they, a parking inspector goes into the, the council offices in the morning, then uh, collects all their gear and just, like, wanders out, just walks around all day. Yeah, he'd know ah, his route. Da. He'd know just, his route. You know, I'm just getting my 10,000 steps in today, getting paid <laughs> for it. Isn't this a lot? Oh, what a wonderful day. Oh, I've been on... Oh, I'm going to check this street out, just see what's going... Rubbish! It's absolute crap. They knew what they were doing. Just fess up. I mean, as if we didn't know that councils are a pack of bastards. Here they are at it again.